Okay, welcome back everybody. This is the second round of the BeamNG test drive competition series with your submitted vehicles. As you can see, I already loaded up the um, the Utah USA map with the River Rally because, you know, as I said, this is sort of a off-roader and slash rally kind of thing. So I thought this would probably do the job well. I actually did think about using another map which was the uh, whatever island, but that had like lots of uh, plant uh, props. And I'm thinking that that kind of uh, plummeted my FPS, which is probably not the best when you are trying to do time trials. And that's why we are now going with the Utah USA and the River Rally map. And now I already loaded up the first vehicle, which is the Dudechia or Dudechia, I don't know, Timmy. Timmy! And we are ready to test this boy. And I don't know why I hit play there, but whatever. So basically how it's gonna go down as in a previous round, I'm gonna go through this track with each each car three times, so that's three actual finished run. If I, you know, get tippled over or something, then that doesn't count. Um, and the best of those three full trials times will be recorded, and the best of these three will be uh, pitted against each other for each car. And yeah, we'll see which car is the best for uh, such a rally cost rally cross track, I guess. So um, I'm gonna jump now, and I'm gonna just show you with each car which was the best lap, so you can see that I'm you know not cheating with the time or anything. And I see you there. Okay, I really hope that I can get a proper run out this time. <laughs> Oddly enough, the very first run was the best uh, so far. It's kind of a shame. Um, I mean, it usually is a bad omen if, if you know the very first actual trial run and you're just getting to know the car is the best. Because then it means that the car isn't letting you do a lot with it because you just need to be careful. Uh, and that's what I'm going to try to do in this run as well. And hopefully it will not end in a tragic crash or some sort. Okay, just careful of the bumps here. These that are certain, uh, you know, a different track props, I guess, that kind of put the car to the test. Like this one. Tight transition through the water. Nice. Careful on this corner, you might get bummed out. So don't land on the rocks, because if you land on the rocks, then that's gonna be big trouble. You don't wanna get your ses stranded, that's just gonna end your whole run, let alone destroying your car. I think that's gonna be like the uh, one before the hairpin, yeah, that's the hairpin out there. So just brake, 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 the brakes are not great, god damn it. Okay, let's go, that didn't screw up our run just yet. Okay, let's go. Okay, careful, careful. Yeah, automation suspension isn't the best <laughs> in BMNG. Okay, I think we are close, but I messed up this here last time. I landed on a tree, so I'd rather not do that again if I can avoid that. I think it was that tree. Yeah, that tree right there. Just before the goddamn finish line. Which is gonna be after this, I think. Nope, still not the finish line. And after that, that's gonna be the finish line, I'm pretty sure. There we go, finish line. Okay, and just keep it going, keep it going. There we go. Nice and smooth. There you go. Be a good girl and just let me through this line. Okay, actually improved 7 seconds on this lap, so that's nice. I think this is the best. Okay, 2.30. Oh, Jesus Christ, this car is just so bad of an experience to drive. Sorry for whoever did this, but... It has no grip whatsoever and cannot brake, even to save his life. It just... And the suspension just hates off-road, like, look at that, I'm just bouncing all over the place even though I'm trying to drive in a straight line. Please don't die in the water. Just, just go, just go. I take any lap at this point, just, just give me one clean lap. It's kind of, it just, like, even it could die on one of these buckaroos things. Like, like now, see? It just, 
kind of died. I really hope it's not gonna actually kill its suspension yet. Just let me drive through this map, please. Break, 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 okay. We survived somehow. Yeah, remember when I told you that it doesn't have any brakes? That's what I meant. I'm just gonna try and carefully drive through this map. No, 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 that's not careful, that's not careful, that's not... God damn it. Okay, I, I don't care, we are still going. Just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. We are still going, I don't care. I just wanna get a lap in with this car. I don't care what sort of lap is, it's just gonna be one lap where I actually reach the finish line without killing myself or the car. Stop sliding along, god damn it. Jesus Christ, can, can you... Is it the broken suspension that's doing it now? It wasn't that bad earlier, but maybe I will just not... Can you... Jesus Christ. Ah, this car is the worst. <sighs> From the two at least that I've driven. Can you stop? <laughs> I'm just doing a slalom right here. No, don't hit the truck, please. Break, 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 break. Okay, good. Pretty sure, yeah, it's broken. Okay, good. That's what you have to accept as a fate if, if your car is undrivable, guys. Don't give me off-road cars that cannot go off-road. Or otherwise you're gonna suffer with it. I told you it's three laps. I already did it more than enough to make up for that. If your car, car cannot go through this one goddamn track that's not even that, you know, intense on the off-roading bit, then don't expect me to, like, <laughs> just pain myself to death. Uh, God damn it! can you please go in a straight line at least? Jesus Christ. It cannot go in a straight line. Invisible bumps on the road just kind of threw it off. Go on a goddamn... It's pulling to the right, I think that's the issue. At least, as long as the engine doesn't die, I'm gonna still go through with this lap. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. Such a bad experience. No, okay, that's the finish line. Come on, one more. Please, get me there. <laughs> Without dying on me, please. That's a rock, please don't get to the rock. Okay, I'll take that. Three... Twenty-five, that, that's bad. <laughs> that's like a minute worse than the previous one. <laughs> oh god, okay. I think on this track, the main thing that matters is how much you can brake and uh, grip. I don't think speed matters all that much as you could see in the previous car. It was fast, but it didn't have any grip or braking, and the suspension was also pretty bad. This car has most of it going for it, I think, so it, I think it has potential. Also, what the hell broke off from me? Hopefully it was just some bumper thing, uh, nothing important. Um, so yeah, I think this car can actually be a fairly good competitor, based on what I've seen so far. Again, it's only the third car, but you know, I have good feelings about it. Okay, brake, brake early. Rather, rather early than late, and oh, that was a well. The suspension is surprisingly holding itself together so far. Pretty good car to drive, actually. It feels nice. Don't get into, don't go into the rocks, though. Oh. It didn't break on me yet. That's nice. Okay, just, just keep it going, keep it going. Better safe than sorry, as they say. Okay, hairpin, that's gonna be a big boy, but break early. Break early, break early, break early. That's the way, yes, that's the way. And just go that way, nice. Just on time. Also, I hate the fact that uh, BeamNG doesn't realign your camera once you uh, actually... Uh, like, used it to like look around the corner. It should have the same camera function as GTA, probably. That's probably the best I've seen so far. Don't go into the drain, please. Okay. We are surviving so far. Looks better than the last attempt, too. A 
little bit of a uh, bomb there. All right, we survived that as well. Okay, let's go, 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 let's go. Okay. And final checkpoint, come on. Please survive this for me. It's gonna be a pretty good time actually. Not be not better than the previous or the first car, but it's still a pretty good time. Well, only two seconds off, that's pretty good. Nice. Okay, apparently this game is very stingy with checkpoints as well. I just missed one of the checkpoints when I was trying to take the corner a bit more inside, I guess. Uh, it's I, I don't like when the game does that. If my car actually like touches the uh, this you know hugest column of, of checkpoint, then that should count. Just because I don't go through between the two um, little things there, like that shouldn't just outright you know ignore that I actually touched the checkpoint. Whatever. <sighs> yeah, this car is like it's good. Uh, I think this is like the by far the easiest to drive from the four, but like. <sighs> It just doesn't save you from beam engine nonsense and my own inability to drive a car properly. Oh well. No, oh, please don't do that with me. Okay, I'm still gonna still gonna continue with this run. We are not done yet. And the time is still okay. I think with this track it's actually more of like just just get one clean lap in and that should be able to count unless you like screw up majorly like say miss a checkpoint like I did in the previous one no 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 okay so this was a checkpoint that I missed okay so now I'm gonna make sure that I'm touching it there you go okay from now on, it's just about not crashing into a rock or a tree, and then we should be fine. Oh god, please don't kill my suspension. I don't like dealing with dead suspensions. Thank god this car is sturdy. It's a big boy. That's what she said. No, don't use that joke, please. It's a bad joke. I now have pain because I said that joke. Okay, just go slow in this corner. Don't give me any major leg issues and we should be fine for the final section. No, 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 Yes! Okay, cool. Oh wow, that's actually a new record. Nice. Okay, I think as much as I was praising the previous car, this actually <laughs> might already topple that. Uh, because, I don't know, it just, like, kind of grabbed the previous car's sort of safety feeling. Um, and then just add a bit more power to it, I think that's what you get with this car. Um, it seems to take everything and I throw at it pretty well. Uh, I didn't seem to have really bad bakes either, so that's also a plus. And it just, you know, the suspension itself handles things really nicely. Look at this. Oof, it's over it, and it was like nothing. Okay, just brake, still. But even though it has better brakes, it's still, you know, it's, it's still BMW MG. The brakes aren't gonna just magically stop the car in place, unlike in GTA. Okay, we are going alright so far. Just brake a bit because there is a sneaky cheeky rock combination here yeah this one if you go in too, be too high of a speed then you either hit the inside one or the outside one but in any case you're gonna die and you don't want that so let's just say that and break 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 you can never break too early in this game yeah, it's it's been holding itself up pretty well. I'm I'm hundred percent sure that this is gonna be a new rep, rep record. We're only at we're only at uh, one and a half minutes, and we are done with the most part of the track. Oh god, that didn't sound good though. Hopefully, it's, the suspension could take it. Yeah, 
And yeah, that things like this make you wonder, like, makes you wonder whether uh, or how much they distort in the movies when you know cars do like huge just jumps. They would usually like break in half. Let's be honest here. <laughs> like th those jumps are not realistic whatsoever. Okay, I think that's like two more checkpoints right there. Okay, so this is one, and the last one is gonna be. Yeah, that's the last one. Ten more minutes. Ten more seconds. Sorry, not ten more minutes. And we should be getting a new lap record here. Come on, come on. And oh, it's not a lap record. It's actually just between those two. Well, this thing is proving the issues of the second car again, but probably in a bit less, I don't know, dreadful manner. Um, it doesn't have much grip. Probably it's because of it's more power than grip, but at least the suspension seems to be better. So that those that smoke didn't look too promising. I hope that they don't actually like kill the car or anything. And let's see how it can take these. Yeah, I took these all right, I guess. Um, just keep pressing on forward. I'm assuming the brakes are not that good. Yep, they are not that good. And what? I mean, yeah, they are all right, I guess. Could be worse, definitely. I'm wondering if I can get a lap record with just uh, due to its sheer power, uh, because it's definitely not the best in terms of cornering or, or even braking, but its power might make up for it. This is pretty, pretty much of a box of a car, it's just uh, I like to call it the powerhouse of box. And that kind of describes it. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, I like the look of it. It's, I don't have any issues with the look of it. I'm just pointing out the obvious boxiness of it, as you can see here. But I, it, I can see that the uh, creator took creative effort into, like, you know, putting all the details on it and whatnot that actually would be on a rally car. Or an uh, off-road car, sorry. So that's nice. Okay, we are through to, uh, We are past the killer June Or killer bump. It sometimes murders car suspensions. I think it uh, killed, killed uh, this car suspension in the previous attempt as well. Another one of these bumps. But we are still going. Deja vu, I've just been in this place before. Just drifting along the canyon. That's fine. And there are no trees around, drifting is fine. Oh, we're already here. I think that's gonna be the new record, obviously. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be a new record. This is <laughs> undoubtedly the new best. Look at that time. Wait, did I...? Okay, I screwed up, but it's still the best time. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, 2.23. Nice. This card's uh, entire setup seems to be... Of oddly tame, maybe it's because of the engine power or engine sound, sorry. Um, but despite that, it's surprisingly easy to drive, which is a very, very um, pleasant surprise for me. Because I'll be honest, I think I like this car's looks the most from the um, like looks competition. Um, I really like how it looks, especially from the front, uh, which I cannot really show right now. But in any case, um, I really like this car. Um, and driving it isn't that bad either, so it kind of is edging to me for me to be the favorite of the bunch, but we'll see how it performs in a lap time manner. Thank god the water stopped me there, I would have stranded on the rocks. <laughs> uh, I, it happened in the previous trial, so it's not like I'm completely safe from rocks right yet, just because the car is not bad to drive. Uh, break here, because rocks are deadly here. And there we go. I kind of am thinking that the you know the whichever cars I test the first have like sort of a disadvantage because you know I, I get to know the track with each lap better and better. Um, but like I don't think it's you know, that significant of an issue. Also, please don't touch that rock. Thank you very much. I could stop just in time for that rock. All right, we are still going. Oh god. Don't 
point to the drink, thank you very much. There you go. I actually can full throttle this car and still feel safe, that's odd for a car, car like this on a track like this. Uh, I mean, I guess it's because it doesn't have that much engine power. Maybe it just doesn't feel as fast, I don't know. Maybe it's still fast, it's just kind of... Uh, I'm not really looking at the speedometer, so it might still be just as fast as the others. Yeah, it's not gonna break any records though, but eh, it was a really nice experience at least. Nice. I mean, it's... It's third place. That's not too bad. This car is also looking pretty nice, by the way. I I really like this car to win by the looks. Um, and driving-wise, it isn't that bad either. Um, I've been doing alright with the test times so far. It looks to be a bit struggling with the uh, power department, but apart from that, I don't really have anything to complain about. Like, the suspension is alright, the uh, braking isn't that atrocious. Um, then it kind of grips just enough so that it can actually pull through the track. Um, okay, I'm still gonna have to brake here though because you never know when BM Beam G just kind of decides to throw its physics into the bin. Okay, brake just enough. That should be enough for this car. There you go, perfect. Um, so yeah, this is also a pretty good sub submission. I, I sorry for keep giving keep going keep going for keeping to go back to that one car, but the second car was just it's it just not a good off roader, man. It probably would have been much better on a asphalt track, but yeah, you, you need grip on these tracks for the most part, and also braking ability because I'm guessing whatever physics is behind the uh, the beam and G, I'm pretty sure it's. It thinks that it's harder to stop with brakes on a uh, off-road, which is, of course, should be the case. But you know, it just sometimes feel like, feels like it's just unreasonably weaker off-road than on on-road. Time-wise, isn't that bad. I I did a uh, pretty good times before with this car. Um. Oh God. Okay, you're still going. I really don't know what, what's up with the timer. It sometimes decides to go continuously, sometimes it just stops at wherever the next or previous checkpoint was. It, it's weird, man. Yeah, this time isn't gonna be a winner because, as I said, it's not really that good in terms of engine power, but. It was still a really good experience. Like, if somebody wants an off-roader car, then it's definitely something I can suggest. Yeah, it's it's second to last, but still, that's not too bad. They ignored the 241. That was one of the uh, wrong trials. Okay, so with this thing, I can safely say that the best car of the bunch was the SXX Steep Angler. That's that's the time you see on the top here, and. Uh, I'm gonna probably put up uh, a scoreboard of all the cars with their respectable respective times. So yeah, uh, congratulations to whoever made that car. Even though I screwed up the <laughs> finish line, it still got the first place. So even if you're gonna say that you know some other car might have been able to squeeze in some bit a bit more time, no, that there was no beating this car. This was obviously the winner. So yeah, uh, thanks a lot for participating in this uh, round of the uh, automation car creation competition. That's a lot of K. <laughs> Automation car creation competition. That's yeah, that's three. Anyway, um, enough of my blabbering. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys. Kind of a shame. Like this, this game is very badly optimized. I noticed. Um, like, what the? <laughs>